ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the master of mayhem, Craig Charles. In a world where nothing's certain, here at least, we can guarantee one thing. We can guarantee carnage. We've got the most dangerous robots, the toughest competitions, and a crowd full of robo nutters. Are yeah. oh, you psyched up to fight? Yeah. All righty. And tonight, the teams are lining up for the tag team grand final. Craig, it promises to be a chaotic and frenzied final. Dear Tour and Pussycat, the furry feline team and the cruel steel feel of the Avenger and suicidal tendencies. First up, the repeat of the All-Stars semi-final, though. Chaos wants revenge and Tornado's challenge belt. Our final mayhem for a place in the Annihilator sees Velociripper against Comagetris and Disco Inferno. The wild card worry is Axel against Panic Attack. We have a featherweight contest for you. RC Warrior and Beefcake. And then the main event for the Tag Team Terror title. Deatora and Pussycat against the Steel Avenger and Suicidal Tendencies. And boys, please, obey the rules! OK, guys, I want a good clean fight. I don't want any nonsense, and I hope you all understand that. It's clear? Yep. OK, and we can guarantee a good, fair judgment from us. We don't take bribes. Be no problem there, not Yeah, Pete, we did never like their robot, didn't we? We are Two deadly duos, one fantastic fight at the end of the show. But we don't need to wait until then for action, because today's breaking news is there's a new challenger for the challenge belt. Well, Craig, as you know, a couple of extremes ago, Tornado won their third fight in the challenge belt competition and won the belt outright. Jules first they had to win it from the reigning holders Bearmoth. They did so in style. They then held on to it against Come and Getterix. Look at the push and shove of Tornado. And hugely impressive against Wild Thing also. Tornado, the robot to beat. Well, I'm here with Tornado, who are proudly displaying the challenge belt which they won. Congratulations, team. But the challenge will go on because we have another belt to award somebody. It could be you. Now, who would you least like to fight? Hit the disc. Yeah, what about you? Razor, I think, for me. Could be nasty. What about you? Don't think like we'd like to see Chaos 2 again. OK. Well, team, how much do you want to win this belt? Oh, we've got to have a second one. OK, I can reveal to you now that Chaos 2 would like to challenge you for this belt. How do you feel about that? It's going to be a tough fight, but I think we can defend it. So is that an acceptance of their gauntlet? Yeah, yes. yeah we'll think... give it a go. Bring it on, Chaos 2. So, is that challenge belt destined for a new owner? Let's find out. Let the wars begin! From Bradford, Ipswich, Chaos 2. From Huntingdon, Tornado. This is a grudge match. This is a challenge belt challenge. It's all in one. At 20 miles an hour, Chaos is quicker, but it's 14 kilos lighter. They fell foul of Tornado's driving attack last time around, and they've got to use their flipper early on. Hi, we're Chaos 2 team. Uh, this is Richard and Ian, and I'm George. And if you know anything at all about Robot Wars, you already know who we are. Can whip up a storm with a vertically mounted 2000 RPM 15 kilo spinny disc, can push all day long, and is very well controlled. Dogged in pursuit, too. Hi, my name's Andrew Marchant. This is Brian Moss. This is David Gamble. We are Team Tornado. Remember how we pushed all the other robots around last year? Well, we're going to do the same this year because we have this. Everybody beware. Our house robots in the arena. Dead metal at 112 kilos, heavy and powerful. 
and alongside Shunt, 105 kilos, slightly lighter but no less powerful with the push. Rumbatiers, stand by. Another terrific battle in prospect between these two mighty robots. And again, Tornado with a push. Chaos 2 back in that CPZ again. This is where it got into trouble in the All-Star semi-final. Chaos 2 out to Prowl, though, this time. Patched up a little bit, perhaps dented and bruised. But fierce once again. Tornado is simply relentless. And what can George Francis do here? He hasn't managed to use the flipper against Tornado, but he does against Shunt. Hey, get off my back, Shunt, he's saying here. Look at this. You're nagging me. Get out of my face, man. Shunt on the side and almost out of the arena. Chaos 2, side by side with Tornado. That's good driving by Tornado. But you see, Chaos 2 can flip, but Tornado's invertible. Can be flipped and still rolling, still menacing, still on the attack. We want to get side on because there you can see the drum here, the circular sort of drum saw can eat away at the side of Chaos 2. Chaos 2 does not want to be caught broadside. Dead metal comes out of the CPZ. Are we heading for another defeat here for Chaos 2? Are we heading for a new chapter in the history of Robot Wars, a new Hierarchy to be created because Chaos 2 is in trouble again. Shunt with a bulldozer and the axe. No great damage caused though to Chaos 2. Well armoured. George Francis trying to get him out of the CPZ and go on the attack because he knows his time is ticking away here. If it goes to a judge, they are behind. In this challenge belt match, the belt is held by Tornado, of course. They have one belt for all time. There's a little flip from Chaos 2, but it's on a house robot. It is not against Tornado. They can push Shunder out all they want to. It's splendid to see. Look at this. In underneath, the CO2 pneumatic flipper. It is one of the most powerful in Robot Wars. But if we have seen a vulnerability about Chaos 2 this time. The Robo Ref going in to have a look at Shunt to make sure he's OK. Once again, Chaos 2 attacking Shunt. Tornado, meanwhile, is out of trouble, out of range, holding its distance. This is all very splendid for George Francis. I'm not too sure if he's point scoring here. Where is Tornado while all this is going on? He's aggressive. Chaos 2 being aggressive, but almost suicidally so, because look, that metal saw is in there. And again, Tornado more restrained and controlled. Now with a nudge on dead metal, trying to help Chaos 2 out, perhaps. Brothers in time of need, Andrew March under the controls. Brian Moss, the weapon operator with the long hair. Tornado spins away. And it's Chaos 2 being counted out again by the Red Bot. A flip or two. The flipping heck. Chaos 2 has been beaten again. That is sensational. Well, the king is dead. Long live the king, perhaps. Chaos 2. Cease. Will it ever be as strong again? George, what's happened? Flipped in the air, Chaos 2. The reigning British champion in extreme has found its matching tornado. Well, that's a turner for the books. Chaos 2, winner of the fourth wars. They wanted the extreme challenge belt, but they're not going to get it because the winners are tornado! You wanted the extreme challenge. Oh, worth a go, yeah, yeah. You wanted the belt. Yeah, unexpected opportunity to be uh, here to do this. But had a good go anyway. They're a much better robot. They're, they're very yeah. strong, very aren't they? Very strong. Yeah. You know? But did you see the way I fought back even when one wheel got stuck? You were like a wounded animal <laughs> in the corner, but you still fought back. You, know, That's it. you yeah. said there's nothing more scary than a wounded animal, and you sorted out shunt, didn't you? That's it. Put him yep. on his side. Yep. Yep. But um, George, you're not used to defeat, really. Um, you're taking it very well. Well, happens occasionally. It happens occasionally, <laughs> but sure. thank God, not, not that often for Chaos 2, eh? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for George Francis and Chaos 2! Well, you said before the fight of all the robots you didn't want to face, Chaos 2 was one of them. But you didn't have any problems there. Well, we know just how good George is and how good Chaos 2 is. And, uh, well, when he's on form, we would have been out of that arena. Aye, but you came out so fast and you hit him so hard. 
What's the top speed of that robot? It's only 10 miles an hour, but it gets there very, very quickly. It does get there quickly. It's just right in, isn't it? Mm. And it just, you seem to hit things so hard, you seem to break the inside of them most of the time. <laughs> it's know? built strongly. It is built strongly, but hey, look, you've already won three extreme challenges. You get to keep that belt. We have to go away and make another extreme <laughs> challenge belt. Um, You've got that one as well. There you go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Tornado on Extreme Challenge Champions! <laughs> Tonight's lineup finishes with the almighty tag team final. Two teams, four robots, multiple pileups. The crowd here. The crowd here know what's next on the bill. Don't you guys? Yes, they can smell the carnage.